Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Abby with Abby Reviews. This is going to be my review and recap for Chasing LA Season 2, Episode 2. Um, I'm assuming we're going to meet some more people. We'll see what happens. I can't remember what happened in the episode. Let's jump into the foolishness, shall we? <laughs> okay, we back at Andre's party. He arrives, he gives a lovely toast, he said to he toast his friends, his loved ones, his A1 Day ones, all, all everybody who has um shown up to celebrate him on his day. And so, you know, he goes over to the group to introduce them to to give them an introduction to Poetic, who is also at the birthday party. And so J Jer Jeremy is like, first of all, who is this person? We need to know these things because do I need to gird my loins before meeting this person? Y'all be bringing people in the group and they be fugazi. So um, they're having a conversation. He's introducing the baby to, to uh, Jayla and Jeremy. And um, it's that seems to go well. Uh, somebody asked him, "Did he invite? Is everybody here? Is anybody missing that you invited? Like, did you invite somebody and they weren't here?" And he was like, "No, everybody's here. Who I wanted to be here in my space, you know, to celebrate me on my day." I don't know why you people think you gotta invite everybody to your birthday party, child. I'm assuming they thought he was going because he King Payne had come to sort some sort of truce or understanding, or they hugged the last time they saw each other. That meant that everything they, that he was going to invite him to his birthday party. Uh, that's not don't be necessarily the case. Just because we cool doesn't mean I fuck with you like that. You could have did something, apologize. I forgive you, but I still don't invite you into my life to. I don't get you. You don't get access and, and put in a position where you can do what you did again. Why would I? That don't even. Okay. Oh, also shout out to Jayla for learning to keep your legs crossed when you get this little tiny dress. Amen. This is a step above what happened at the reunion, and I and I appreciate it. I'm glad you heard. Wait, did Jeremy say? That he had conversation with Poetic over Christian Mingle. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. No, his username was take me to the California King. <laughs> I gotta go. All right, so we meet Miss Nicole. Um, she is a hairstylist to the stars. She wants y'all to Google her. Um, she has this, uh, a, she has her own hair studio. Um, and she has a podcast. She's doing this Friendsgiving dinner where she thinks she's going to invite Hershey, who she's been, um, conversing with through TikTok and, and text. Um, she seems... Okay, she seems like a level-headed business person, but you know, looks can be deceiving. I'm not sure yet how I feel about Miss Nicole. She hasn't done anything particularly offensive for me to not to like her. Um, we gonna see. I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. The middle of my spine is tingling, and that's never a good. That's not good. But but we gonna we gonna we gonna see what happens. We gonna see, we gonna see what happens. Okay, so next we meet Mr. Rich Baum, who he's a rapper and a model, who has a very unpopular opinion that if you do OnlyFans, you're lazy or unintelligent or some such foolishness. I don't, who told him that? Where did he get that rich? That just rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know if I'm, I don't know. 
I don't know. We're going to see what happens. But he's getting his hair cut from King Payne. And they're talking about both men in the music industry. King Payne is like, have you? can I Google anything that you've done so I can hear it? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Rich is like, I heard his music and it's trash. Okay. And then Jayla shows up to give her brief debriefing on Andre's birthday party. And she was like, you would have been proud. It was a good event. And he was like, well, why didn't he invite me? I invited him to my birthday party. He was like, yes, he wants his LLC back. I, and I guess Andre was assuming that because he was invited to the birthday party that he would get his LLC back that night and he didn't, and King Pain, because of the behaviors of the last two scenes, I just felt it necessary to pull, pull out the petty mic. So, she will be in full effect for the rest of this episode. So, King Pain is talking about the company that I acquired. That company he expects back. I guess he ain't gonna get it back now. He talking about she hang Jayla hanging out with the Dusties too much for him, and she gonna have to take a bath the next before she comes see him to get all the dust from the Dusties off of her before she's in his presence. That's a bit much, but okay, fine. Um, meanwhile, the new baby Rich Bomb is is I guess soaking in all the information about what's going on and trying to and trying to get caught up. Shenanigans. William. William has entered the chat. Um he's here and he's here. Uh, his best friend is Sydney Starr. And he's saying that she is one of the first girls to ever do it. My question is, do what? What did, what did she the first girl to ever do? I'm, I don't, I don't, I didn't understand that statement. But okay, um, they're having a conversation. Um, big up in, at this point, big up in Natalie Nunn. Uh, if you follow any of the. Um, Zeus bad girl, bad boy club foolishness, you know that Sydney and Natalie has since fallen out. And so that's a thing that happened. Uh, there's a conversation where uh, William is discussing his background, which I, I was unknown to me until now, uh, that he comes from meager beginnings and his parents um, had addiction issues and his mom disappeared and then his dad went to jail for murder and so apparently this baby all his life he had to fight and so he's is clawing and scratching his way to the top and god bless you on your journey baby that's all i got for that he started crying god bless you baby and, and we continue to press forward this was going pretty well until Sydney started to give this baby advice on what to do. And one of the pieces of advice was if they, daughter said, if they try, you try them back. Absolutely. And he was like, well, John, I'm fighting it now. He's like, I'm too pretty to fight. Baby, we know we've seen the, the clip. You can't fight, baby. It's okay. Then they, she said, no. Like, if you read, if they read, read them back. And he was like, okay, I can do that. And then she said, now, if they really try you, take their man. Sleep with their man. You're trying to get this child killed. <laughs> don't, don't, don't listen to that, love. Don't, baby, don't listen to that. That's going to get your head caved in. Don't do that. Do not. I, listen, I cannot stress enough. Don't do that. That's. Just... So. 
We are at LA Fashion Week with Andre, who was a part was a part of the organization, so he knows the the co-founder, and he has a conversation with him, and you know we just see him in his element with the models and and sitting front row at Fashion Week and all that good stuff, and it's wonderful to see. Um, I just we we're moving on to digging in, and. Andre is coming over with some champagne in there and robes. I think he's having a little pajama jammy jam or something. I don't know what's happening. That is not why I stopped to do a little commentary. Deacon Ian, what do you have on in this confessional? I'm not even concerned about the neck down because that looks normal. What I'm concerned about is what is on your head. What do you have on, love? Hold, 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 please. Baby, what is this? What's, what's, honey, what's happening? What's going on here? Like, I don't, <sighs> fix it, Holy Ghost. Who told you that this was okay? We gonna move on, cause I okay. What is happening in these confessionals? What the fuck is happening in these confessionals, people? So Andre and Deacon Ian are having a debriefing about the birthday party. Um, Andre is saying he was pleasantly surprised about his interaction with Jayla, because he, he hadn't really talked to her since the summer, and so, but they're in a good space. Then they start talking about poetic and. And then uh, that Deacon Ian invited him to the uh, the little uh, event that he's having. Uh, he's doing like a, a YouTube tutorial on how to do a facial and using stuff from home and, and the grocery store and stuff like that, which is wonderful. And then we go to a poet's confessional. Hold on. So this is saying very much to me. Y'all remember... When Juicy Smoulier said he was the gay Tupac, this is the picture that I had in my mind when he said that. What the fuck? <laughs> my God on today. But okay, you know, to each his own. Everybody's got their own style. I don't like it. <laughs> but we gonna see what else Mr. Poetic has got going on, shall we? Okay. Again. Uh, her she goes to Miss Nicole's studio because he has an appointment for her to do something to one of his wigs um, I don't know that I like her she doesn't she doesn't she doesn't sizzle right in my spirit it's too many backhanded things coming out of her mouth it's too much you got a lot of sass and, and, and disrespect to people you don't know. Um, I just, it's something about her that, mm -mm, no, she, she doesn't, mm -mm. her, she, I don't, I don't, mm -mm, nope. No, I don't. She has invited Hershey to her Friendsgiving, and he said he's going to bring some of the children from the group. Um, and if there's any issue, then put them out, <laughs> I guess. And we're going to see what happens, because Hershey is right. You get the group together, and they sometimes act a fool. So it bees what it is. We're going we gonna to see. Hershey, baby, what's going on with this bucket hat and this confession? I'm going to leave it. Okay. Everybody's confessionals. This is, I don't understand. But okay, it's fine. We're going we gonna, to we gonna move on. Deacon Ian, as much as I'm not feeling Nicole, she is indeed correct and you are wrong. Nobody cares that it's Balenciaga and you have brand new Jordans on that just came out today. You are not in dress code. You were told that the dress code was nude. Her, she got the memo. Andre got the memo. You decided, I guess, that 
you didn't have to follow whatever what the dress code was as long as you put a bunch of designer shit on you should be fine and that is not so and she told you so you gonna have to take this L beloved and you can't get an attitude because why you sir are indeed wrong but yeah I don't I, she has a beautiful home um she has a luxury party planning event planning business, which you can tell by how this is set up in her home that it she does have nice taste. I'm not sure about who she is as a person because it's coming off real. I don't think we get into the part where uh, her, she, and Nicole had a little conversation about who he invited and who was showing up. He had invited Jayla along with Andre and Deacon Ian, but Jayla couldn't be there. So, but her plus one was still coming, which what? That doesn't make any damn sense whatsoever. But I digress. But her plus one ends up being Mr. Rich Baum. Is that his name? Rich, Rich I think Baum is the last. I don't remember. And he's. Four hours late. And everybody's talking about the fact that he's... It says wear shades of nude and his shirt was open to show his chest. So, he's in he's thin theme. So, I don't know. But, in, he seems to have an attitude. I don't like Nicole's demeanor. So, this has the potential to go real laughter real. But that was how the episode ended. Um... We gonna see what happens. I like. I don't have a good feeling about this, but we gonna see what happens. Um, this has been my review and recap of Chasing LA season two, episode two. Uh, please, sirs and ma'ams, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a kin, and I will catch you later for something else. Good night.